guys, welcome back to Granny's Home and Kitchen. So today I'm going to make a very old fashioned dessert. My mum made this dessert almost every Sunday and I'm going to show you her recipe. Now what you're going to need to make your trifle is you're going to need some sponge. You can use a plain sponge, I'm just using a raspberry Swiss roll and I'm just, cu just cut it up into pieces. You can make your own sponge if you can't find anything suitable. Um, but basically any sponge would do, you could even use a pound cake for this. You're also going to need your sherry, this is vital because this adds the delicious sherry taste to your trifle. You're going to need a tin of fruit, if you're using a small tin I would say use two. This is a fruit cocktail, I usually add pears but I actually bought peaches in, by mistake. So if you're using two small tins you could maybe use a small tin of fruit cocktail and a small tin of pears. Pears are absolutely delicious in this dessert. You're going to need some jelly or jello. You don't have to mix the flavours, I'm mixing raspberry and strawberry. If you want to just go with one flavour, that's fine. You're going to need some maraschino cherries, which is what I use to decorate the top. And then my secret ingredient in my custard, sorry I forgot to bring over the custard powder. You're also going to need custard powder, if you want to make your own custard that's fine. But my secret ingredient in my custard is I add some white chocolate. You're going to need a trifle bowl of some sort. Um, it doesn't have to be this type, or just any glass bowl will do. Okay, so we're going to assemble our trifle. So I cut my, my sponges into little round circles and I did a layer around the edge and a layer on the bottom. Now I'm going to take my fruit and I'm going to layer some fruit into the, on top of the sponge. And we're going to take some sherry. I'll actually put this sherry into a jug. So you can use as much sherry as you think you'd like. Um, I like the taste of sherry, so let me have a look and see what's down here. So I'm going to use a half a cup of sherry. You don't have to use that much if you don't want to. Okay, so we're going to take the sherry and we're going to just pour it around this layer and that will be absorbed by the sponge. Now I'm going to put another layer of sponge on top. I'm going to layer another layer on the side. Again, as I say, I'm just doing this for decoration. You don't have to do a layer like this. You can just, just do regular layers. So I have to tell you a story. My mum and dad didn't drink. My dad took what was called the pledge in Ireland. And it's something that was set up by the Catholic Church. And they also got to wear a pin. So they were called pioneers. But the joke was that my mum and dad didn't drink alcohol, but they ate it because she made this sherry trifle so often. <laughs> and uh, my mum was probably a little heavy handed with the sherry, but uh, it just the more sherry in it, actually, it, the nicer it tastes. Okay, so I'll just put another layer of fruit there. And I think I'm gonna use more than a half cup of sherry. I don't normally measure it, I normally just pour it in. So I'm probably going to use a cup of sherry. As I say, you use whatever is good for you, for you and your family. And now I'm going to put another final layer of sponge here. I do have to put some more here. Actually put another, these two little pieces in here just to fill in the sides and Finally, the last little layer of fruit across the top. And the magic ingredient, some more sherry. Okay, so now we're going to take our jelly and we're just going to pour our jelly over the whole thing. And this just sets the whole trifle. Okay, so I've added my jelly to my trifle. You can see I just brought it up to the top of the sponge and the fruit. And I'm going to let that set before I move on to the next step. Okay guys, so now we're going to make the custard. So I'm just going to follow the instructions on the back of the bird's custard tin. And um, I will add a little bit more milk because I'm going to be adding some white chocolate to my custard. So it starts off with mix a quarter of a cup of bird's custard with three tablespoons of sugar. I do prefer bird's custard. I have used another one which was more yellow looking. Um, I, this is what we would have used back home and this is my preferred brand. So, um, quarter of a cup of bird's custard. So I have my quarter cup here. Okay, 
so you add that to your pan. Okay, so this calls for three tablespoons of sugar. But I'm going to reduce the sugar because the white chocolate is going to be very sweet. So we will use one and a half tablespoons of sugar. So then just mix your sugar and your custard powder. And actually my, my ring is actually warm because Connor was cooking on it. And to this you're gradually going to add two and a half cups of milk. So this is my my cup. Okay, so you're gradually going to add it and stir it so that it doesn't go lumpy. it has been blended. So I am going to add, actually I'm going to add three cups because I'm adding the chocolate. Okay, so three cups of milk. Okay, so now you're going to bring this to the boil, but not on full heat, on medium heat. Okay guys, so you can see that it's just starting to bubble. So that means it's just about ready. Can you see how thick it is? Now remember I added extra milk because I'm going to be adding chocolate. So I don't know if you can see the little bubbles. So it's now just coming to the boil. So that's cooked. Now I don't want it to overflow the pan. So I'm going to now add my chocolate chips. Let them melt. I'll stir them through. I'm gonna turn off the heat. And then I've taken, this is a stainless steel bowl, and I ran it under cold water so that it's nice and chilled. And now I'm going to add my custard to there to cool down a little bit before we add it to the trifle. All right, guys, so here we have the trifle. The custard is, you can see it's set at the top. And now I'm going to add my whipped cream. So I just added like a half a teaspoon of sugar to the cream. So I'm just going to spread this around the top. Kieran's laughing in the background there because I told him to be quiet. He thinks he's whispering, he doesn't know how to whisper. You'll still, you'll still be able to hear him. Okay, if you want to make the top a little bit fancier, you can just run a fork through it. And just give it a little bit of a, and then go back this way. Give it a little design on the top. And then I'll just take some cherries. I'll just put a few cherries on the top. The cherries are optional, guys. Okay, guys, so there is my sherry trifle. You should definitely give it a go. It is so delicious. Even the kids enjoyed it. So, guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, you know I would appreciate it. Take care, guys. Enjoy.